This is code.org. If you don't have code here like this, you need to go back to the other parts of this lesson. If you're stuck on them, watch my tutorials. I want to show you what mine does so far. Okay. And let's walk through why that's happening. What it's doing is, all right, so right in the middle here, I move forward 30. I then turn right 80, so I towards down, turn down-ish. I then move forward 30 and turn left. So the first thing I do, moving forward 30, I draw the top of the step. I turn right 80. I draw the side of the step and I turn again. Okay, and then I hit this block and it says, okay, how many times? Oh, I've only done it once. I need to do it three more times, two more times, one more time. And once it runs that four times, once I have four steps, I'm going to then, I then turn right 180, turn all the way around, hit the bottom of this, and it says, oh, I have to, okay, I'll run all of this code again. Draws four steps for me, and I turn again. Let's see what we're doing. Spin that shape around five or six times in a circle. If you choose five times, try 72 degrees. Okay, so we got to spin the whole shape. All right, well, it by shape, it's meaning these two steps combined, this like diamondish pattern, is one shape. So if I need to spin it around, let's do five times. Let's grab turn 90, whoops, turn 90, except I'm going to turn 72. And then I need to repeat this whole thing five or six times. I'm not going to write it five or six times. I'm going to make the computer do it. So I'm taking all of this and saying, hey, repeat this. And so I will draw that whole diamond shape five times. Okay, how do I draw that diamond shape? Well, I draw two sets of stairs. And what's involved in those stairs? Drawing four different steps. Okay, all right. So this is how we're making it. It's repeating this repeated action by this repeated action. We're nesting loops. It's confusing, but as we're seeing it, it just gets a little more clear. Let's check this out. Awesome. Snowflake. Great. Onward.